This new origami is so different. Moigami, you guys are calling her. She's never smiled before. Now she's all smiling, bubbly, and part of me is like, I want to accept her. And her design is fantastic with the long hair. And apparently that was supposed to be like her original origami design, according to some of you. But at the same time, I want that dry origami back. I want that deadpan look. Says the most wild shit. Like you have to do a double take. I was like, did you just say that? That origami back. I'm sure we will. But somehow things aren't going to work out because we saved the parents. But the parents are still dead a year after. In fact, no matter what we do, something still has to be the same, if you know what I'm saying. So what can we really do? Does our parents just have to die no matter what? There's no way to save? But then what? I don't know. But it's gonna be, I believe, no. Nightmare versus um, Devil. It kind of ended short. I think couldn't we just fucked off. I think we might get a date soon, though. Let's begin today's reaction. Hmm? Did it happen again? So she's aware that sometimes she just loses consciousness. She has no idea that she's a spirit. It's so crazy because she almost tried to kill Chido too. And then couldn't even like save this hat. I was like, oh, you remember the letter I gave you? <laughs> I guess this makes a lot more sense than, uh, you know, because that's like an inverted spirit, right? Oh, wait, Kurumi. That's pretty intimate. Kurumi just coming out of Shido's shadow like that. Go on a date. You know what to do. It's date time. <laughs> Time to say some crazy ass shit. Our date. Oh. What? Uh, no, I mean, maybe. I mean, no, why are you jealous? It's just our job. Just, it's just our job. Man, don't get so serious. Oh, she's so anxious for the date. It's so it was pretty cliche, but it's cute. Oh my goodness. Seeing origami like this. Oh. A what? A love? What? Oh, he texted me! <laughs> I need to reply. So quickly? You're gonna reply so quickly though? It's gonna show that you're desperate. To whom it may concern. Jesus, that's way too. That's some boomer shit. Stop. <laughs> You know, even in this form, she still has her comedy. Like, it's a bit different, but she's still funny. Oh, she picked out a special dress. Wait, is this the same spot that we met for the dates in that episode where we went on a date with, you know, Kurumi, with Toka, and Origami to an extent in season one a bit? Even in the movie, like, is this the meeting spot for all the dates? I can't remember. <laughs> okay, what do you got me? I want Kotori to be fuming. <laughs> she's walking up to that. It's, she's like a maiden. Watch Kotori trying to sabotage this. I don't know. We should go with the most reasonable answer, but... What's option C, though? Oh? Going to Love Hotel immediately? Why? Oh, yeah. Why, though? Shaken in a good way? Probably really good. No, it's probably amazing. <laughs> it's actually really good. <laughs> so some things change, but some things stay the same, man. Lingerie shopping. Come on. You know the place. You know the place. The lingerie shopping. Uh-uh. -uh. Stamina boosters? <laughs> All right, you got the four-hour stamina boost up. She is, you know, what's the, like, the special Chinese turtle or something? She's all about that shit. She makes her own homemade Viagra. Huh? What? Instinctively, she picked up all the ingredients, because, you know, the old origami is still there. <laughs> here we go. Here, here we go. We're going to get, like, three different laundry outfits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Object. I mean, yeah. It's his job, to be honest. Watch her pick the most degenerate shit, just like accidentally. Uh oh. What she do? What she do? She picked some crazy freak shit, right? Oh, here we go. It's gonna be some crazy shit, dude. It's gonna be some. <laughs> Dog collar. Oh no! It's the OVA. It's the same OVA outfit. Oh no! How did I put into a fucking middle school swimming suit with dog collars on? That better not be an actual tail. That better that better be a fucking ass plug, dude. 
I think we've been to this restaurant before too. In fact, I'm pretty sure like this is where she just said like you can't go to the bathroom, right? Hmm. You know, indirect kiss. Oh yeah, you're gonna slobber all that. You gotta. Oh wait, wait, what? Wait, that's the inverse. Wait, wait, wait. I was too busy deep throwing. Okay, okay. She's too busy deep throwing that. Okay, I thought her. I thought her eyes changed for a second. I thought she was changing. <laughs> it is what it looks like. Oh, oh. I gotta wipe that. Did, did this happen before too? I, did, and then change the... I feel like stuff like this actually happened in the OVA. Immediately take the pictures? It's your instincts. It's hard to believe you when you just do this shit without hesitation. But this is great. Is this... Our spot with Toka, you know, Toka and Shido's special spot. Is this where this is, or I don't know. A little push, dude. She's pushing herself up a fucking hill. Anemia, sure. Imagine she's just working in the AST and she faints, and she's like with her entire team, and she turns into the inverse spirit and starts killing her AST members. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with you passing out with anemia and just killing people. <laughs> Now's your chance. Kiss time! Go for it! Take the shot, Shido. <laughs> Go for it. Actually, take the shot. <laughs> take the shot! The sunset lighting is perfect. This is the moment. Oh, oh. What? Wh how does that break so? Oh my god. What the f- Ew, that thing busted so easily. But he got cut. Uh, are you okay? This is kind of still nice because she's on top of him now, but that was so ridiculous. Holy shit. Uh, you little smoochy smoochy. Get in, get in there. Take the shot. Go for it. Huh? What is that sound? Kamayo! And if she sees the spirit power, she's gonna turn inverse. Oh, fuck. Her eyes are gonna blank out, and this time it's not a joke. Ah, oh, shit. Yo, Shido versus inverse Origa. What? I, we have no. No. Kurumi should still be around in the shadows? I mean, she kinda is like a spider almost, because, like, all of her different, like, Rods thing that shoots beams kind of look like spider legs too. Maybe I'm reaching. Yo, girls, it's time to come. Yo, it's kind of come. Come on. Oh, it's not too far. Oh, damn, they got a nice ass view of the city. Oh, I didn't realize the view was so nice up there. Jesus, they live in a penthouse. Oh. And then get in for the kiss. All right, let's let's go. Bye. They're not dead, right? They're not actually dead. They're, they're not actually dead, right? No, I don't believe that. Kurumi? Kurumi? Okay, Toka's here. Oh, gang, gang, look! <laughs> Did you see Natsumi there too? <laughs> Yo, they had a mean stare. Damn, that design is insane. That design is insane. So this is what happens to her when she turns. Hmm. But the other split side of her. I thought she can reach over. Yeah. Oh. Past memories. Oh, if the past memories comes back. Okay. And so is this already. Now suddenly she's. Oh, all these. Past members of parents. Oh, that's so cruel that her parents just have to die every time. Double game. Um, dude, Natsumi's power. We saw in the last uh, last season, right? Like, um, sorry, not last season. This season, how uh, she was able to just like copy spirit powers like the angels. It's fucking insane. Like, imagine double zap kill. Would that be too much of an overlap? Oh. Oh, let's. Go This is new. Wait, what? Wait, so, wait, wait, what do you? When did you have this? So she merges with Zafki. It's no longer a summon. It becomes like an extra snow suit, and then she can use the powers like that. That is sick. Don't explain it. Fine. Cool. Whatever. <laughs> I'm just happy with the new form. Yo, you know what? She should get a new form because Origami got like four new forms this season. 
maybe instead of forgetting about it, there's a way to like embrace them and like be happy with the memories of the past and move on somehow. I just don't feel like it's ever gonna work the other way around. Shido has to break into this realm and kiss her. Shido, any moment now. Any moment now! There it is. Now there's two origamis though. And the old origami is obviously gonna remember. This is the first time that he still... F it was the first yield bit iteration, right? Where he fucked up, kind of. But that's still good because that transferred over. The memories. Oh, she's both of them reaching out? And then they become one, maybe. Yeah. Alright. Inverse is done. But, like... I want her to keep the inverse powers. You know, I, I, I love this form. Metatron is cool too, but the inverse forms are so cool. You back? I'm still uneasy because the boss theme is playing. But because you have Shido, you can move on with it. Yeah, yeah, okay. She's confirming it. Countless innocent people in the town. I will never let another human experience the fucking same level of despair I had from the spirit's powers. <laughs> Proceeds to fucking wipe out the town. And now if we do a little kissy kissy, everything is done? Not love or affection. She's finally explaining it. Why she was so devoted with it, right? Dependency. Damn. The in like... It was basically so much trauma that she had to just depend on him because of the past of him saving. So like all the fucked up shit she was doing, it was out of dependency. It's like come with like a coping mechanism. That makes like that extra context just makes the fan service so much like worse. I don't know. If it feels like it's not of her own volition. Oh, oh, she's so angelic. I like the inverse themes though. Oh shit. It's a wrap! The arc is over! Wait. This is like a remix of the wedding theme. I love Yoshino's new form. Of course, she's completely naked. And Toka, don't look, Toka, don't look! Okay, she's happy with it. I thought she'd be super, super upset. Origami. Cut her hair! She's back! Oh shit, she's back! My panties. You're gonna give me. She's gonna give her panties. Wait, what? Not direct. I thought you'd be a handkerchief like panty, but you fucking. I don't know how to say it. Cause like, there you absorb full indeed of the fluids, and look, it's all the fucking medicinal herbs to make your potion with, with the dog leaf. You know how she just said it was not out of love or affection. It was out of dependency, but this might be different. Cause like she just said that, right? And it's actually different now. No need to use Yield Bed again and do the entire thing over. Now we're staying in the current timeline where people have forgotten some memories, but at the same time, we've saved Origami. It looks like the arc is over. There's one more episode now for the season finale, and a lot of people are saying... Some people are, like, upset at this episode. I have no idea why. And in fact, season 3 so far for me, like... People say that this is the worst season because the animation pacing and everything was so bad. But here's the thing about the saying, ignorance is bliss. I don't know all the things that was left out. I can't even tell if things are being rushed. Sometimes you can kind of tell if the plot line is being really rushed. But so far, animation quality wise, I don't think it's so bad. And the Natsumi arc was a little bit different, but it was refreshing because it wasn't your regular, like, uh, what's it called? Just battle anime arc. And... The entire thing with Origami, her getting so many different forms, all the fights, that was super hype. But a lot of people, obviously with the context from the light novel, are saying that there's so many important things that was left out. And at the end of the day, again, ignorance is bliss. I'm still having a fun time, but I'm sure a lot of people that actually read the source material are kind of upset that things are being left out. Some people are saying, like, this is the season that Data Live died. I'm like, that's such an over-exaggeration. Like, I'm still having so much fun watching it. I'm... Then again, I'm a pretty simple guy. I see cool new forms, new animation, new battle suits, like, it's cool soundtracks that's all i care about and sometimes kurumi shows up at the end to just like clutch like that's it's data live classic and now at the end we have tobichi origami and toka shido in the middle they're fighting over his affection we're back to score one now let's see what's gonna happen but hey if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for even more content and until next time take care